So the James Webb Space Telescope is good for stuff nearby, just as it's good for stuff long ago. The James Webb Telescope has been operational since the summer of 2022 and has quickly gained attention as the largest and most costly space telescope ever. The initial images alone significantly changed our perception of the early universe. The telescope continues to unveil one surprising discovery after another. Recently, the telescope made a startling discovery at the edge of the universe that has taken the scientific community by shock. Keep watching this video to delve into the specifics and understand the implications of this colossal discovery by the most powerful telescope ever built. James Webb peers deeper into the universe than any previous telescope. With its 21-foot mirror composed of 18 honeycomb-shaped segments, James Webb captures light that has journeyed to us for over 13 billion years. The 69 by 46-foot telescope boasts cutting-edge instrumentation, and NASA notes that its infrared sensors are so attuned that they can detect the slight warmth of a bumblebee at the moon's distance. Consequently, this telescope surpasses previous technical limits. James Webb is acknowledged as being 100 times more sensitive and potent than the Hubble Space Telescope. Its mission is encapsulated in the words sharper, deeper, wider, delivering significantly improved color imaging compared to Hubble. Beyond just a telescope, James Webb resembles a colossal time machine. In a universe approximately 14 billion years old, Webb can capture light that has journeyed to us for 13.5 billion years, gazing toward the edge of time. While Hubble has been revolutionary in space exploration, the older telescope couldn't delve as profoundly, and the images it offered of the oldest galaxies were comparatively unclear. Unlike Hubble, the new telescope is positioned much deeper in space. Hubble, to this day, resides at a distance of 342 miles. James Webb, in contrast, is positioned a whopping 900,000 miles away from Earth in space, more than four times the distance to the moon. This poses a significant challenge for NASA and the nations involved in constructing the telescope. Hubble underwent repairs and upgrades five times in its 30 years of operation, with NASA's space shuttle missions flying relatively close to fix it. However, James Webb's remote location makes it impractical for such repair missions, potentially complicating the evolution of modern space travel. NASA discontinued its space shuttle program long ago due to technical issues, leaving SpaceX's Dragon shuttles, led by Elon Musk, as the sole means of carrying humans into space. If SpaceX's plans materialize, with human flights to Mars beginning in the 2030s, a visit to James Webb for a few adjustments might be on the agenda. Now let's delve into what James Webb has astounded the scientific community with. The revelation of the oldest objects. Even in the initial image NASA shared with the global public, anomalies were evident, objects that shouldn't exist. The deep field picture unveils the universe's oldest galaxies in a reddish hue. Initial investigations stirred unexpected reactions as these ancient galaxies appear much older than previously thought. Scientists are grappling with the realization that massive and luminous galaxies existed a mere 200 million years after the Big Bang. Currently, international expert teams are scrutinizing the authenticity of these findings, questioning whether there might be errors in past distance determinations and galaxy age assessments. If the precision of measurement methods holds true, existing theories about the Big Bang may need a complete overhaul. Researchers might soon find themselves seeking new explanations for the inception of the universe in time. Leading the pack of potentially older galaxies are currently Galaxy Glass Z13, estimated to be 13.5 billion years old, and Galaxy Sears 93,316, which could be slightly older. Keep in mind, the Big Bang supposedly occurred around 13.7 billion years ago, and after that event, there was believed to be a prolonged period of nothing. However, Webb's images present a different story. Now the question arises, do exoplanets harbor life? Another recent revelation from NASA, just a few days ago on January 11th, shared observational data collected as early as August 2022. 
Detecting exoplanets stands out as a primary task for the James Webb Telescope. Unlike any previous instrument, James Webb has the capability to detect minuscule planets at extraordinary distances, observing them as they pass in front of their stars. Alternatively, the telescope analyzes subtle changes in the star's light spectrum to identify the presence of planets. Adding to its capabilities, the telescope is equipped with instruments that, for the first time, enable it to make incredibly precise measurements in the vicinity of exoplanets. This allows for a more detailed examination of a planet's composition and any potential atmosphere. The first planet scrutinized in this manner was LHS 475 bits, an Earth-sized exoplanet orbiting a red dwarf star approximately 41 light-years away in the constellation Octans. The planet orbits its star much closer than Earth does, with a year lasting only two days on LHS 475 bits. Scientists, by studying the transmission spectrum, aim to identify the components present in the planet's atmosphere. James Webb's capability to detect a broad range of molecules has been demonstrated through this analysis. Currently, the data hasn't been thoroughly examined to confirm the existence of an atmosphere on LHS 475 bits or the potential conditions for life. The initial successful measurement serves as a starting point, promising more intriguing results in the future. The pursuit of understanding the universe's boundaries unfolds. Does the universe possess a beginning, an end, and defined limits? James Webb has the ambitious goal of conclusively addressing these fundamental questions. In practical terms, the telescope can peer back in time 13.5 billion years, reaching shortly after the Big Bang. Whether James Webb can extend its gaze even further remains uncertain. As mentioned earlier, the telescope has already disrupted the scientific landscape with its initial images of ancient galaxies. If evidence of the Big Bang is discovered, it would confirm, at least in part, the origin point. However, this hasn't been the case, and no indications of the universe's boundaries shortly after the Big Bang have emerged. In this context, a pertinent question arises. Can James Webb theoretically observe the edge of the presently existing universe? The answer is a clear no. James Webb is limited to capturing light, rendering sources visible. The light reaching the mirrors of the telescope has journeyed through the cosmos for varying durations before reaching us. The image captured by James Webb consistently reflects the light's location at the moment of emission. Galaxies whose light reaches us after 13 billion years likely no longer exist today. Even the light from our closest stellar neighbors in the Centauri system takes around four years to reach us, showing us stars as they appeared four years ago. Since we can't peer from Earth into the current universe, our ability to observe its present state is practically non-existent. As we understand it, not only do galaxies expand through space, but space itself undergoes expansion. The assumed starting point was the Big Bang, now subject to scrutiny, a previously unexplained factor in the universe's overall structure and expansion is black or dark matter, an aspect James Webb is anticipated to shed light on. However, initial measurements on this are still pending. The results could be crucial pieces in completing the cosmic puzzle or potentially challenge established scientific notions. Dark matter is likely a fundamental component of the universe, forming the mysterious foundation of a network that shapes its basic structures. The existence of dark matter is certain, yet it eludes all currently known physical laws, causing sleepless nights for scientists. What if everything astronomers and physicists believed about the cosmos is inaccurate? If the telescope continues providing results misaligned with existing theories, the upcoming months and years may witness a complete rewrite of the universe's origin story. What do we truly comprehend about the cosmos? What we presently know with certainty is the observable size of the universe, observed through telescopes. However, gauging the actual vastness of the entire universe remains an absolute mystery. James Webb's observation range spans 13.5 billion light years, and the overall extent of the known cosmos is approximately 28.5 gigaparsecs. 
a parsec, denoted as AE for cosmic distance measures, corresponds to the distance between the Sun and Earth, roughly 90,000 million miles. One parsec equals 3.6 light years, or 5,880,000,000 miles. So wrapping our minds around 28.5 gigaparsecs lands us at about 58 billion miles, a spatial concept challenging for us humans to fathom. Currently, researchers posit that Earth's visibility extends up to a distance of 16 billion years, marked as the event horizon. The events preceding this line may forever elude human understanding unless our technologies experience groundbreaking advancements. Researchers express confidence in reconstructing events through computer simulations, contingent upon constants within the known space, expected from James Webb. Numerous questions linger at this juncture. Will we detect signs of life on other planets? Can we demystify the mystery of dark matter? And will we ascertain the universe's boundary? Share your thoughts in the comments below.